Check this out. How cool is this? That I get to walk someplace new almost every day. <laughs> New scenery, new things to explore. I'm walking around this funky lake right here that smells kind of bad. It smells like a strong urine smell. And the signs say not to swim in it or drink it because it's uh, been they're testing it. It kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, Mono Lake and a little bit also of Salton Sea. There's white sand down there, which I suspect is gypsum, just like the White Sands, which I'm just like three miles from White Sands National Monument. But yeah, it's pretty. What's weird though is that it's um, on a military installation. I think that's an Air Force base behind me. So I really feel like I'm being watched. And I don't know, can you see Mat Matilda? <laughs> I need to name her. My new RV is back over there across the way. But yeah, I mean, being so close to an Air Force installation, you would think especially allowing RVs out here, that seems a little odd. So I suspect there are eyes, infrared, probably already, just, just double check that there's nothing explosive or anything inside the RV. I mean, I would imagine, right? Being this close to a, a military installation, they have to have eyes on you. So as I'm out here walking, I'm feeling like I'm being watched. And I have a feeling that that feeling, maybe even listen to. <gasps> Are they listening? Could be. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna finish my walk. Just wanted to share this beautiful, new, different scenery with you. I love it all. Even this stark, smelly. It's different. Difference good, in my humble opinion. Uh, you know, I know. Different is good for me. I love different. I love different experiences. I love diversity. But I know that's not for a lot of people. And I know even a lot of people who watch me, uh, you know, a lot of people, I find comfort. I don't know, comfort. But I enjoy different experiences, different scenery, uh, exploring different things. But I know a lot of people who thrive on routine and sameness, right? A lot of people don't like change. They don't like... Um, you know, difference. They like things to be regimented and they like things to be the same and they like routine and, and that's okay too. You know, my channel is not about telling everybody they need to live like I do. Uh, my channel is about finding what fits for you and being authentic to that truth, your authenticity, whatever it is. Whether it's traveling like I do or buying a house or buying a piece of land and staying in one place. Um, I'm not here to tell everybody that you need to live like I do. Absolutely not. That's not who I am. Uh, I believe in live and let live. But I do believe that there are a lot of forces in our society that tell us all that we should be a certain way, that we should live a certain way, think a certain way, be a certain way, that we should be somebody, that we should be a success as defined by our society and our media. And, you know, and there's a lot of forces that that influence us. Family, community, religion, society, government, business, media, marketing. I am here to say, just be you, whatever that is. Whether that's showering every day and shaving and wearing makeup and wearing the Gucci and the uh, clothes and the shoes and the tie and the heels, if that's you and that is what makes you happy, excellent more power to you um, and I'm happy for you but that's not for everybody and that's the message I try to convey I'm not ridiculing or condemning people who live the way I used to live by any means I am just saying that there are a lot of us who are trapped in that who it doesn't fit or is that right? Yeah. And it doesn't fit them. Like it didn't fit me, but it took me a long time to realize that. If it fits you, more power to you. 
if that, you know, if, if climbing the corporate ladder and buying the million dollar home and buying the nice car and buying the newest iPhone when as soon as it comes out is what makes you truly, truly down to your core, if that is really what makes you happy, congratulations, I'm happy for you, really. <laughs> um, but my point is that there is so much that tells us we all should want that. And we all don't want that. <laughs> we all, some of us want something very different. Some of us want this. <laughs> some of us want less than this, you know, as far as material things. I have a lot of material things compared to some of the real minimalists. So that's just my little message for today. I, um, I, you know, I get messages all the time from people who think that I'm judging other people. Uh, I'm not. If you're comfortable wearing makeup, if makeup makes you feel pretty and feminine and attractive, then I think that's wonderful for you. And if shaving your armpits makes you feel cleaner and makes you feel more feminine, I'm happy for you. I'm not judging you. What I'm saying is, why can't we have both? Why can't it be acceptable both to wear makeup and to not wear makeup? Why can't I, or any woman, as a professional woman, let's say, cr climbing that career ladder, why can't she be clean, well-dressed, without having to put on the corporate uniform, the makeup, the suits? You know, why can't she be more of an artsy, free-spirited? But the bottom line is, she wouldn't go in with... She <laughs> Imagine going into corporate America with hairy armpits and hairy legs and no makeup. Oh, my God. You wouldn't make it. That's my point. Why can't we have both? And that is why I am so vocal about the changes that I'm experiencing in my own life. And that's why I'm so vocal about saying, yeah, look, I'm not shaving my arms. <laughs> I don't want to do it anymore. And it's okay. Because I think that if we can, those of us who do butt against the norm, I think if we can be more vocal and more visible about it, then maybe we can start to change the national conversation, the societal conversation, the expectations that are put on especially women. Um, if it becomes more normal to be, you know, natural, then maybe that'll open the door for more women to be more natural and to be accepted for who they are. Okay, so that's my point. And, um, you know, I just wanted to say that I'm not judging anyone. I'm just trying to challenge what we consider normal. I'm just trying to con challenge what we consider beautiful and feminine and attractive. Okay, that's my little talk for the day. What do you think about that? I know a lot of you already say, I was actually surprised at all the people, and men even from my last video, who said, I like natural. Natural is good with me, which just goes to show you there's more of us out there than the media would lead you to believe. You know, you see the headlines of Cosmo. Oh my God, she doesn't shave her arms, you know, and you tend to think that it's just such a, uh, an anomaly and that we're so abnormal and so different. And maybe we aren't. And again, I am lucky enough to have a YouTube platform to say, you know what? It's not that abnormal. Look. And how about if more of us talked about it and started changing the perception? That's all. That's all. Okay. See you later. <laughs>